hi guys welcome back to this african perspective thank you all for stopping by so you know that layoffs have actually been all up in the air getting worse from 2023 it's just been there to 2022 2023 down to 2024 and all we have seen is it being increasingly worse than it was before how you know the layoffs have been worse and bad is the fact that some people have actually experienced layoffs more than once in their life in just one year literally like a person one person will deal with layoffs multiple times from different companies and especially in the tech industries that's where the layoffs have been massive because they've just you know been letting people go and most times most people that are laid off when you ask them like which industry are you working for it's always gonna come out to be tech 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 not to say it doesn't happen in other places it happens in every other part before we get right into this video i want to give a very big shout out to joseph for sending me a 20 dollars cash app thank you so much joseph for supporting the channel i appreciate you please make sure you click the like button it helps with the algorithm and i definitely appreciate that so much and subscribe to the channel if you're new here and you're watching me for the very first time so i don't know if i'm about to be let off or promoted so we'll see let's do it Hello. Thank you for taking the time to meet with us today. Mm -hmm. um, I do have some news. So, you know, as you know, the business is very behind um, on goals and so is the industry. Mm -hmm. um, and in order to maintain um, long-term stability, we've had to make the difficult decision to restructure. Okay. In order to compete with the environment. So, totally outside of your hard work and the um, your impact on our community and everything like that, we have to reduce the workforce by 5%. Mm. And this means that your role is going to be eliminated. Okay. And Taylor's is not a reflection of your work, mm -hmm. your contributions, your dedication, anything like that. It is a business decision. Got it. I want to thank you for everything, your commitment and all your hard work along the way. Um, and the incredible relationship you've made with our clients. Mm -hmm. um, and so I know that this can be overwhelming. Do you want a minute before I pass it off? You can pass it off. Okay. Hi, Taylor. Sorry to be meeting with you under these circumstances. Mm -hmm. um, I'm on the... No questions for you. We appreciate okay. your hard work. Thanks. I'll do. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Taylor. Just got laid off. Thanks. Let's talk about getting laid off. Well, I got laid off yesterday and it is the second time that I've been laid off this year, which is super fun for me. But the reason that I want to talk about it is because people lose their jobs all the time. I mean, I know I sure do. But the reality is that if you work in corporate, the only thing that is constant is change. And there's really no such thing as job security in this day and age. So it is what it is. I got laid off from my first job out of college in May and my last day was in June. Basically that situation, I was a contractor. My boss wanted to restructure our team. I got let go. I got this job really quickly. It was for a tech startup and they were paying me really well, which was great. I was super excited about it. I was a manager and I think I did pretty well. They let go of the entire US team. This was an Asia based company. They let go of everybody in the US because they decided to withdraw from the market. Getting laid off is nothing to feel ashamed about. Being unemployed is really difficult and really stressful. I'm really not excited to do the job hunt thing for the third time. It's not fun. It's really stressful. They want like, like five plus years of experience for a stupid low salary. It's so hard to get your foot in the door. Not all hope is lost. My boss, who also got let go, he has a really extensive network. He's really successful. He said he would hire me again. And he also said that he would connect me with people and try to get me in the door. So the last time that I got laid off, it really affected my mental health. I had really unhealthy coping mechanisms and I was straight up not okay. I took that a lot more personally because it was just me getting let go. I'd been at that job for a year. I really liked it. I liked the people. I liked what I was doing. But I was also going through a really, really hard time at the beginning of this year and it definitely negatively affected my performance. And so I just didn't feel like I was doing really well at the job and then it all kind of came to a head when I got let go. I really was not in a good place after that. I'm in a much better place now. I'm not taking it as personally as I did before, mostly because it wasn't my fault there wasn't anything that I could have done. It was not just me, like I said. So if you've ever been fired or let go or laid off, you understand it is such a shitty feeling and it's so scary, but I made it through this before. I'll make it through again. Everything will be fine. Your job does not define you and it never defined me. I am a 
work to live person, not a live to work person. I really do want to find a job that I'm a little bit more passionate about and that I really like. I'm not putting a ton of pressure on myself to find a job this quarter because I really doubt people are hiring a lot, but you never know, so we'll see. If you're in the same boat as me, keep your head up. We're in this together, girl. And I just spent the last hour looking up health insurance plans and I literally have to go to sleep to reset my brain. It just re-stressed me out. I surprised living in America? Absolutely not. This is just the first time I've inquired out employment. First of all, the COBRA plan or whatever the company offers if you want to stay cover after separation is absolutely insane. Individual, 900... <laughs> and that's a month. I'm sorry, I'm unemployed. How can I afford that? One inquiry online. Now my phone is being blown up every two seconds from telemarketers. And after taking a call from someone from my current healthcare plan, the cheapest quote is $486 a month. Like, between that, not being able to have any interviews or any jobs, especially with this lawsuit, I, I just, I just need to take a nap and reset. America is too much for me right now. That so I got laid off my tech job. Surprisingly, it's been like two months ever since I started like looking. I mean, yeah, I'm still looking, but the market is like so trash right now. It's just like out of frustration. I don't know what to do. I'm really at my last hope with the tech industry because I used to like post on my social media how passionate I was, how I loved working in tech, blah, 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 blah. But now since I got laid off, I have like a different opinion. And my sector is QA. So it's just like AI's taking over these QA jobs. And now there's like little to no QA jobs on the market. And my firm just laid me off like happened in late August. Now I got laid off September, going to early September. So it's literally been almost two months without a job. And I'm losing my fucking mind. Like I really don't know what to do so i think i'm gonna give up on the tech industry or pivot or i just don't know i'm just like really frustrated at this point and it's easier said than done oh shanko apply to other jobs just apply you will get something it's easier said than done than that because you wouldn't understand until you're in my situation i know like a lot of other people are in the same situation as me getting laid off in the tech industry. So you guys have to understand our frustration. <sighs> I don't know. I just don't know what to do at this point. Everybody and their mother has been getting laid off in 2024. I wanted to talk a little bit about why this is happening. We can talk a little bit about the start of World War III and the fact that there's an election coming up. But one of the biggest reasons that there are a whole bunch of tech layoffs is because of the expiration of a certain tax credit, Article 174. Basically, for the past couple of years, companies have been able to write off a lot of tech jobs as R&D tax-deductible expenses. Technical and functional IT jobs were basically being a tax write-off. That just expired. Now companies have to report this as income. In order to look like they're still profitable on the books, people have been getting laid off. Layoff cycles like this are usually cyclical. We just gotta hang in tight. Follow me for more tips. So, I got laid off from my job about a month ago. I was given um, the opportunity to work through the end of this month and luckily they were nice enough to grant me two months of severance. So I have a little bit of time on my hands, but almost every single day I sit here while I'm working and I have been applying to jobs and I've had a few interviews. I had one offer, but it was for a job doing exactly what I do now and it just Currently, it's not filling up my cup. It is not fulfilling me. My, I have. I feel like it's not giving me a sense of purpose, and I really need that in a job. I've come to learn over the past three and a half years, four years since I've graduated college. Um, but I don't know if it's just me, but is anyone just like... I mean, I'm 26 years old. I feel not burnt out from working, but I just feel like... I don't know what I want to do with my life and it's kind of like this scary feeling because 
so many people around me, I feel like they have this just path and they went to school, either they went to school for a certain degree, a certain job or whatever, and then they graduated school and then they just started working this job and now that's what they do. But I've kind of always been all over the place. Like I have different interests kind of all over the board. So I'm like, I don't even know where to begin. I'm like, should I go back to school? But then if you go back to school, I'm like, how am I gonna pay my bills? Because I'm an adult and I have to pay rent and my car payment and shit. So I just wanted to yap and basically vent about this quarter life crisis that I'm having surrounding losing my job. I actually think that getting laid off might possibly be the best thing that could have happened to me because I feel like since I am blessed to have a couple of months to figure out what I want to do, I think I can pour every ounce of effort into finding the perfect job for myself or if it's going back to school or whatever the case may be. I am very, very blessed in that aspect, but it's just hard. It's hard to figure out your life's purpose and how to transition that into a career when in this world and economy, I'm sorry to say this, but you have to be making 70K to live comfortably. If anyone has any career advice or resume job, cool career, I don't know. I've worked in uh, commercial real estate. I thought about getting my real estate license residential license, like sell so residential real estate. I um, have bachelor's degrees in public health. I worked in IT staffing and sales. Not for me. But if anybody has any advice other than that, let me know. A few years ago, we would hear like a lot of tech workers would be like, oh my God, like if you're not in tech, what are you doing? Like join tech. The tech industry is so good. And then they have a lot of people who are like getting like six figures paycheck, more than that. And they're like paid very well. And then being brought down to the part where you're like, you're so used to earning or being in a different lifestyle where you're earning more. You, you could do a lot of stuff. Things were more affordable, I guess. And you could keep a lot of money to yourself. And then all of a sudden, like you're brought down to the level where you just have to like scramble for anything. And, you know, most people now, they really have like after you've experienced the situation and you're applying, you see how difficult it is to get a job. You would find yourself settling down for things for paycheck that is like way low and way beneath you because yeah some paycheck can be way beneath you especially when you have like some level of experience like your certification you need to be paid more for your skills you end up just taking anything and it sucks i have been trying and failing to negotiate my severance pay i just got laid off two thursdays ago first of all i reached out to like eight employment lawyers not one of them replied like legit phone calls filled out information nothing but i read that negotiation book never split the difference so i was like i'm gonna use my knowledge i started asking questions like how is my severance calculated because it was just like a random number. And from my calculations, it seems around like five weeks pay, but not exactly. The HR team just fired back that information is confidential. Which is weird because every other severance I've ever seen, they've shown you how they calculate it. Like one month plus one week per year worked here or something like that. Why is it confidential? So then I read through the whole contract and everything. Apparently I signed a non-compete agreement when I first started working there as my employment agreement. Back then I didn't read contracts. I was really stupid. It's a year long non-compete. So I tried to negotiate in the emails. I was like, if it's a year long non-compete, then I would like a year-long severance package. I asked to keep the computer so I can apply for new jobs and for more company-sponsored Cobra. I didn't hear back for days, but then the VP messaged me back and he was like, everything is non-negotiable, sorry. You can find a job that complies with the non-compete with our outplacement services, which is basically resume writing and stuff like that. So even though he said it was non-negotiable, he did let me keep the laptop, so it seemed like a little bit negotiable. And so I messaged again. I was like, I've had so many friends laid off in tech and I didn't say this in the email, but all of them got six month severance packages. And two of them who got that severance package had only worked there one year. I worked here four years. And in that whole six months, they couldn't get a new job because it's the worst job market on the planet right now. So I asked him like, how am I supposed to survive on this severance package if it's taking longer than six months for a lot of tech employees to find new jobs who also got laid off? The VP didn't even answer my question. He wouldn't engage. He was just like, it's non-negotiable again. So I'm at the point, do I just give up? Do I just sign it? Cause I do need the money. I'm not gonna lie. Late. So I got laid off from a nine to five on Monday, so a little less than a week. Yeah, so the first day was, of course, a roller coaster of emotions, cause I've never been laid off before, and it was shocking, but not really, and I'm gonna explain to you why. 
First, I do want to start by saying that I did pray for this. I did not pray for a layoff, but I did pray to pivot. And I posted on threads like a week ago or so or something like that about a big major goal I had coming up for my birthday that I wanted to accomplish. And my birthday is in December. My big goal was to pivot from, you know, working a nine to five and just solely focus on being a full-time content creator, full-time with my businesses. So, and I prayed and said, could you please pivot me? Could you guide me? Could you show me a sign that this is the right thing that I'm doing at this current moment? And he did in his own way as, of course, you know, when we pray for things, sometimes it doesn't come how we would do it. And two weeks at some point, God said, no, you're moving now. <laughs> and all I can do is adjust. I'm sharing this and being vulnerable because I know there's other people dealing with this as well. And I just want you to know that it's going to be okay. This is why I implement my business. One, of helping other women and two, have more than one stream of income. You never know what happens. I'm excited. Will I ever work a nine to five again? I don't know. I can't tell the future. I'm not against nine to fives, but as of right now, today, I do know that all I am prioritizing is being a full-time creator, solely being an entrepreneur. Hi. The review of all options, the company has made the very difficult decision to eliminate some positions across. Well, there you have it right as I'm leaving for a supposed to be fun trip. And I think what like makes me even more infuriated is like not the job itself because like there was changes within the company that I knew like this was going to happen, especially with my position, um, especially like being remote and I'm like the only one in the office that's remote. But I think what's a little bothersome is like my manager didn't really say anything um, I've been with them for four years, so that's frustrating. Um, and we'll see if she like reaches out, if her or the dean reach out. Um, I doubt it. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, I have to pack and go to Boston, so I really don't have time to deal with this right now. So yeah. I also feel like 2024 kind of crushed people's hope or this um people who had this mentality of always like wanting to be loyal to a company and feeling like oh my god you know uh, i'm gonna put in all of my like i'll put in my all into this place and i'll work so hard and eventually i'll get rewarded for it and i feel like it crushed you because like you can clearly see that most people who are putting like years into into working at a place they literally just get let go in just like a blink of an eye and people the company doesn't think twice about it like when they need to just cut people out and make make way to get more profit or get more and put more burden on some people they will just do it like they just don't care they're gonna put themselves first and you are just literally just someone who's just working there and when they want to let you go they have no emotional uh, connection to you they don't feel like oh my god like because you've been here for long oh we respect you we're not gonna do this to you no they will do it to you if they feel like doing it to you you'll be a part of it and yeah like it's helping some people actually open their eyes i know now is not the time to actually even think about like you being loyal to a company because now you're just gonna take whatever you can get because honestly being unemployed and searching for a job, it's, it's difficult as hell because you'd find yourself applying for like thousands and thousands of jobs. And literally, if you happen to get about two interviews, you're lucky, lucky, and you're not going to hear back from them. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching this video to the very end. I really appreciate you guys so much. Make sure you click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new here and you're watching me for the very first time. Hit the notification bell to get notified every time I post a new video and leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. I will see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.